You're saying who exactly would even wear something like that? Nobody, actually. The Paris fashion shows are shows. Outrageous, yes, but irrelevant, no. Paris is the big leagues, about as big leagues as it gets in fashion. Behind the theater of it, Paris haute couture is really about fabulous materials. This is a hand-painted silk gazar that's light as air. About creativity. The back panel opens and you see this infanta peeking out. Workmanship. Art. Each braid is then inset on the foundation by hand. Which is why, when Ralph Rucci was invited to show in Paris last July, the first American to show his own couture collection there for more than 60 years, it was a very, very big deal. <laughs> Ralph who? No, not Ralph Lauren, Ralph Rucci. You know how seriously I take it. So it's so very emotional for me. I'm trying to, since I've been doing this professionally for 20 years. I'm Ralph Rucci did not take the direct route to Paris. The son of a South Philadelphia butcher, he was majoring in philosophy and literature in college. Doing research for a term paper, he happened upon pictures of designs by Cristobal Balenciaga. And that was it. To this day, Balenciaga is his inspiration. Something just clicked. And I started. I, I started to drape. I, I literally, I remember, I took sheets and I cut into them and I draped them on my sister. In 1981, at the age of 24, with some money his aunt gave him, Ralph Rucci showed his first collection in a New York City hotel room. Family and friends attended, but only one journalist. He sold a single dress, that's all. But there was no stopping him. I was sort of a lobby subway couturier because, truly, the, I'm not kidding you, I would meet my pattern makers in lobbies of the buildings they were working in full time. I would meet sample makers on subway stops with bias silk chiffon gowns. And so it went until 1987. Then disaster. Rucci had a huge order from a major store. Suddenly, it was canceled in mid-production, leaving him $200,000 in debt. And we got out during the night. And then I said I would sort it out, and I'm not going to declare bankruptcy, and I did not. And it took me eight years to pay everything, but my reputation is impeccable. Oh, wow. And this is going with a black and white satin suit that's going to be lined in um, ermine. Like one of those punching bags you knock down and it bounces right back up, Ralph Rucci scraped together enough money to start over in 1994. He called his new company Chato after an elaborate Japanese tea ceremony. It's a hand-painted calligraphy that we use as our lining and all of these are symbols that mean something. Asian spiritualism influences all of his work. What does it Integrity, tell you? Integrity, harmony, purity, beauty. Chato is the closest thing you'll find in the United States to a French couture house, where every garment is made by hand or close to it. What are you doing just now? With it? You're wrapping thread all around a needle. Yeah, I do like you see Oh, each one of these little, yes. little worms, we call them. Little worms? That's <laughs> what they be called them. That puts the jacket in the other one. That's what I work with, the swans. <laughs> the swans? These are swans. Swans? Swans. <laughs> like, like the float around. Oh, it's like a float. <laughs> Why are they called swans? Because they are. Obsessive perfectionism runs through the Ralph Rucci workroom like a family trait. Every season, we all have to move up another notch in our excellence in what we do. Just in the workmanship? Everything, or? yes. No, no season is like the previous season. I strive to have the clothes disappear and the woman emerge. 
Then on inspection, the clothes become noticed. Even though this time the business is hugely successful, Ralph Rucci works seven days a week. I don't like to leave the business. I have control problems. Does that mean that if you're not there, things go wrong? Or are no. you a control freak? I'm a control freak. And they don't like it, but I am. And I'm so afraid of, of losing anything now. Just like Paris Couture, a Ralph Rucci evening ensemble can run into six figures. A serious suit, $15,000 and change. I'm sure it's less than a thousand women around the world who buy it. New York Times fashion critic Kathy Horan, a longtime Ralph Rucci fan, says, so what if you've got that kind of money? I think it's sort of pejorative in a way to say that women's clothes are somehow obscene if they're expensive, but if it's a man's obsession with a vintage car, it's not obscene. Women want to dream about clothes. Joan Kaner is fashion director of Neiman Marcus. They want to buy something and say, when I walk in, I am going to be and act like a princess or a queen and feel like that. And I think Ralph has allowed women to dream again, to have that, that moment of perfection and beauty. How are you? You'll see Kaner at every Ralph Rucci show, wearing his clothes herself. She was one of the people who urged him to try for Paris. We said, go for it. Your clothes are you know, the quality of, of what we see on the runways in, at the couture. You should definitely do it. Lifting the dress, adding two inches to the overall length. When we paid his New York workroom a visit, three weeks to the day before the Paris show, most of the clothes were still being made. Is it scary thinking about going to Paris? Mm -hmm. Very scary? Mm -hmm. No. Just scary. What, what was it like for you the moment you found out that it was actually going to happen, that they said yes? Nothing was good enough. <laughs> I wanted to start over. Paris, 48 hours and counting before the show. Now, the jacket is really an excuse. It's not really a jacket, and it does not want to come forward. Good. This is beautiful. This is definite. Polaroid. Who will wear what is being decided? Let's look. The fact that this is a ballroom at the Ritz and all of Paris is just outside is not what's on Ralph Rucci's mind. Is that leather jacket arriving tomorrow? He's left the hotel once in a week. Is it just like other shows or is it utterly different? It's completely different. It's taken me two decades to get here. I can't talk about that. Okay. <laughs> then, finally, it's the day of, and Ralph claims he's serene. I'm centered and I'm trying to be very within myself so I could enjoy every moment because it, it doesn't take a month to make a garment. It takes a lifetime to make a couture collection. The kind of women who can afford to wear Ralph Rucci can afford to fly to Paris for a fashion show. <laughs> so his faithful clients are here in force. Uh, you know he's, he's meditating. <laughs> also on hand, a few names to drop, like Lee Radziwill, Jackie Kennedy's sister like Nancy Brinker, U.S. Ambassador to Hungary. And surprise, surprise, members of the big-time fashion press who'd been ignoring Ralph Rucci for 20 years. When he couldn't even afford to pay his rent, did he ever doubt this moment would come? Never, ever, 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 ever. Never. All along, Ralph Rucci never stopped believing, knew deep down that he could create clothes that make women dream about being beautiful.